I read Emma Donoghue's Room when it came out, whenever it came out, but I, I absolutely loved it. I loved the, the whole emotion in that one. I, I didn't, it, I'm not going to, I can't tell you what it is because it will spoil it. But. Hello, I've read another Net Galley arc and it comes out on the 18th of um, August and it's by Emma Donoghue and it's called Haven. I read Emma Donoghue's Room when it came out, whenever it came out, but I, I absolutely loved it. I loved the, the whole emotion in that one. This one, it didn't do it for me. Um, sorry. It's set in 600, the year 600, and she's taken as her springboard um, Skellig Michael, which is uh, an island off the coast of um, Ireland. And we have a monastery um, on the River Shannon. And prior art goes to this monastery. And he is a, a, a famous um, monk. He's a renowned scholar. He's a renowned scribe. The other monk's almost in awe of him because he's got this reputation and he goes to this monastery. Um, while he's there, he has this dream that he's going to found his own monastery and he dreams of this island and he dreams of two monks who will accompany him. And so he asks the prior's permission to take these two monks with him to set up his own monastery. And he takes with him Cormac, who's an, uh, an older monk. He's only been a monk for the past 15 years. Um, he joined when his family died of plague. And you've got Trian, who was given to the monastery when he was 13. He's young, he's clumsy, he's finding his way as a monk. So these three guys go off in a boat to find this island and Cormac and Trian have sworn an oath of obedience to Art who is now their prior. So that is it. They've gone off on their boat. What we have, I suppose, is a story of survival. Um, these three guys go off and they find Skellig Michael, this inhospitable island, covered in seabirds. There's no vegetation. There is one tree. No vegetation, no soil. And they've got a few possessions with them that they took along. But everything that prior art decided was an extravagant got left behind. So they have got the basics, the basics only. And they have got this island. And Trian proves himself to be very adept at hunting and fishing. He draws on what he learned as a child. Um, so he, he is, he's there sort of like hunter together, even though he feels an all dreadful guilt at having to kill these seabirds. Cormac has got the experience of being a builder, uh, a stonemason, uh, a cook. He can, and he, you know, he's trying to provide living, a, a, a sort of a, a settlement for them. Prior art does very little, except pray. He calls them to prayers three, four times a day. And every time they suggest, we, we're running out of food, we need to go and find an island to trade, we need to do this, don't you think we ought to do this? God will provide, God will provide. And these monks, they are running out of everything. 
the, the basic possessions that they took with them are dwindling. But Art is totally, totally intransigent. He believes that God will provide everything. It's almost an exploration of, I was going to say blind faith. He is very devout. He's very sure of his own faith. But he almost follows it blindly. There is no middle ground. There's no turning away. And there is a, a revelation towards the end. And it's a revelation that I, I didn't. It, I'm not going to, I, I can't tell you what it is because it will spoil it, but it didn't seem to be in keeping with the story. It, it just didn't, it, I, I don't know. It just, for me, it just, really? What? But this revelation, it then shows that is art the holy man that he's always professed to be? He's wanting to found this, this monastery on this island. And his blind faith is so narrow that this revelation, it almost... Art is now above God, if that makes sense. You, you need to read it. Um, it's a slow burn. It's a story of survival. Um, it's a story about blind faith, obsession. It wasn't for me. I didn't. I, I didn't. I can't say I really enjoyed it. Um, I didn't feel anything really for the characters. They didn't inspire me. Um, yeah, so I will, I will leave it there because I'm, I'm struggling to find something to... It's well written. You've got descriptions of the seabirds, stuff, stuff like that. You can commend all of that. It's just that the story didn't do anything for me. So that's um, Haven by Emma Donoghue. It comes out in August. I'd be interested to know what you make of it. So happy reading. Take care.